Hello learners. Have you checked your resume recently? This capsule on industry trivia around resumes will compel you to do so. Can you guess what is the average number of applicants per job? How much does it cost to hire someone and how long does the recruitment process take? In this capsule, we look at some statistics from the industry which shares information about what are some expectations of a recruiter. One interview is granted for every 250 to 300 resumes received by an average employer. 10 to 20 seconds is all the time you have to persuade an employer to read further. That is, if you have passed the six second test. Recruiters spend only six seconds on each resume to read further. The top half of the first page either makes you or breaks you. Let's look at some credentials shared by Glassdoor. Research says unprofessional email IDs is one of the biggest reasons for rejection of 76% of resumes. So if you have an email ID that sounds like the one on your screen, get a professional email ID. More and more companies are digitizing the process where the resume selection happens through a software specially designed to capture keywords and other details. There are some more reasons why a resume does not really reach the recruiting manager's desk. Let's have a look at them. First is work experience. There can be many examples here. Number one is your experience and the open position do not match at all. You may have the right credentials, but the recruiter thinks that you're overqualified, not keyword optimized. Technology is used to sieve out resumes which do not have the required keywords. For instance, if the position is for the talent management team, you need to include words like organization development, employee engagement, and learning initiatives. Inappropriate social media content. More recruiters are looking at the candidate's social media profiles before they roll out an interview call. No one wants to onboard a person who can be an embarrassment or get the company embroiled in costly lawsuits. Typos and poor editing. It's hard to claim that you have excellent attention to detail if your resume includes typos or other omitted words and some more mistakes. Bad formatting. Most job portals and gateways accept applications in a certain computer program format, like a Word document, or a text document, or sometimes a PDF. Needless to say, ensure that you're using the right type of document when creating or sending your resume. Here's some more trivia. 93% of employers consider soft skills an essential or very important factor in hiring decisions. 68.7% of resume errors involved missing accomplishments. 80.4% of resume errors come from mistakes in former job experience descriptions. 75% employers got a lie on a resume. Recruiters take an average of six seconds to scan a resume. Now you have more reasons to check your resume, isn't it? We hope this capsule helps you to rework your resume and share an excellent document with your prospective employer. All the best.